Hello everyone, this is Shishi and today I am coming on to share with you how to make this cute, adorable bookmark. And it's made with the alphabet punch board, actually the mini alphabet punch board. I'll show with you how it's made. This is what it looks like. And it's a bear. Um, I think you can make other characters, but I'm just going to share with you how to make the bear today. And you'll cut a strip of paper or cardstock. Um, the width of it is 1.5 inches. You can make it as long as you like. So this is the mini alphabet punch board, as you can see. You'll also need another piece of cardstock cut at one and a quarter inch in width, okay, by 1.7 uh, or 1.34 of an inch, okay. So this is for the tummy, okay. So this is like the little belly right here for your bear, and this is what this piece is for. You'll also need some little tiny pieces like this. This comes from this little punch right here. So you'll need about five of these. Now the little circles, I used my own personal punch. I got this from Hobby Lobby a while back. And this is just for the little ears. So you can use anything you like. You can even use these if you like. But it's all up to you. So that's what I'm using to layer the little ears. And then I'm using some googly eyes and then I have like a little tiny punch for the nose. And for the muzzle, I'm also using this piece, but I do cut it and you'll see that in the video. So let's get started. And I used uh, this ink right here for the color of the bear. It's by Memento and it's desert sand. So, I'm going to start out with some punches on um, the basics of the body. So I'm just going to scoot these over to the side. Hopefully it's not too long. So when you're making the body of the bear, we're going to first round the head first. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. See, get some light here. Hopefully you can see. Hopefully there's some light here. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the head first. So we're going to give this a punch. All right. You're going to get this thing on to round just the top. And this is uh, some heavy duty cardstock. So this is what we have so far for the head. So then we're going to go to the top punch and slide the card in and this is what we have so far for the top of the head flip it and punch it again on the other side so this is what we have so far for the head okay so next we want to do the tummy so remember this is one and a quarter inch by 1.34 of an inch in width. So for the tummy, we're just going to round all four sides. Okay, this is what we have so far. This card stock's really heavy weight, so it's like 110 pounds. Makes it a little bit harder to punch. Okay, this is what we have for the tummy. Now I'm going to sponge with my dauber the color for the bear. don't need too much because the tummy is going to cover up most of the body of the bear and I've already done the body parts so remember you'll need four 
for the paws, one for the muzzle, and then I already punched out the ears. And it's just assembly. Okay, so this is what I have so far for the bear. So I'm going to do the ears and what I did for the ears is I got a mat and an embossing stylus and flipped the ears over and just gave it some shape. You don't need to do this if you don't want to but I did for my bear's ears if you want to make it a female bear you can add a bow to the hair if you like okay then I did use some glue to glue on the ears. Um, I'm just going to do like half of this circle. And then I just put this on the edge right here so it's not too much showing. Same thing with this one. It's going to put a little bit of glue right here and place it on the edge of the ear. So this is what we have so far and then I'm going to take some scissors and trim off the extra because we don't need all this So this is what we have so far for the ears. Okay. So I'm just going to get a little bit of um, tape for the body. Actually, the little tummy. Just in case I need to pull it up, if it's too far up, I can pull it up. I'm going to set it right about here. Okay, we're going to glue on the ears.
there's just a little pink showing This is what we have so far. And then now for the paws, we'll just put this right here. So two of the paws will be going down. So that it can catch the page of your bookmark. hold your place and that's what it looks like so far and then the other paws will go inward Like that. And then we'll do the eyes. If you have smaller eyes, that's fine. And the muzzle will um, cut this smaller because it's too big. So I'm just going to um, judge it. So that looks to be about right. The other one was a little bit longer, but we'll see how this one looks. So no two bears will look the same. And then we'll do the little nose. And this one will probably have a pink mouth. I'm just uh, playing this by ear. Just using my scraps. This kind of came off the ear. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to do some more trimming on this one.
All right, and then we'll just draw just a little bit on here to give it some character. And here is the bookmark. Really cute and ready for reading. So I hope you found this easy to do and mostly made with the alphabet punch board. So here's the first one I did and great for kids. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you will give it a try for your little ones. Just something different to do. Um, some people asked for more alphabet punch board videos, just some different crafts for kids. It's a little different. So take care everyone and have a fabulous day.